Talking Conversation Podcast. Podcast 083 by Rich. Back with another podcast. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're watching on YouTube. Give me a uh, thumbs up on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Got another guest on today. You're going to introduce yourself. Angie. <laughs> I am Angie Dow on Instagram. Mm. Where are you? Where are you from? And, um, yeah, just a little bit about what you do and stuff like that, just to you know, get it started. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I was born in the Philippines, but I'm raised in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? So, I've been here all my life. I'm just born there for little traditional reasons and whatnot. Um, I was a teacher. When you moved here? When you moved here from the Philippines? Um, it was, like like I said, traditional reasons. So, as soon as I was born, I was up out of there. Oh. Yeah. So, so awesome. Like, oh, parents took a vacation down there. My, just born? mom. Oh, just mom took mm-hmm. vacation down there, did that, brought yeah. you back. Just to say you was born there. Mm-hmm. That's all right. But it was like, um, I was born there. We stayed for like three months, what I mean. Not like I stayed there for like a year or whatnot. But but then, um, like I said, I was um, a teacher, but now I'm working on my own brand, Real Problems. Yeah, fast. I'm going to shout that out. I know you just gave your IG. What You got a... Uh, um, Free Problems IG? Yeah, Free Problems IG. You know, yeah, it's literally website. Free Problems. But instead of, like, problems spelled out, it's just P-R-B-L-M-S. Yeah. I just had Thug on that shit. Yeah. Seen that. That's hard. I right. know. Shit, tell about that little experience. How the hell that went? Right, right where you said you seen them at. Just how the hell that just happened. That was crazy as fuck. Yes. Like, it was like okay. So, I always go on my little solo lunch dates. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I be posting about solo lunch dates. I feel like it's getting the wrong impression. So, I'm done posting solo lunch dates. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, anyway. I went on my little solo lunch date. And, um, what's it called? I went to this new place that was like down the street, Show Spicy. It was like some ch- like really spicy like Chinese food and stuff. I usually don't like Asian food, which is crazy, but yeah. So I finished eating there. It was really good. I actually really liked it. It was cheap too, so inexpensive. And then um, what's called? I was headed home. And then as I'm headed home, like it's just a straight shot, like going to my house from the restaurant. So all of a sudden, we at the light. I look over, I see hella people just standing in the um, parking lot of this, like, exotic, like, car parts and shit like that place. And I'm like, why the fuck they just sitting there talking like that? Like, And it, they look, like, too casual. Like, they look like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like people I would know, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's just crazy. So, then I look over and I recognize that the tall-ass motherfucker standing there in the group was thug. Bruh, I was like, what the fuck? Ain't no way that's You seen all this by a drive-by? You was driving by, you you just seen all this? Or like you was at a stop and you was able (laughs) to see? Oh, okay. (laughs) Yeah, and I looked over and I seen him on my right side. So then I'm I'm going down the road. I'm texting my friend. I'm like, what the fuck? That was Thug. I just seen Thug and all this shit. And then I'm like, am I really going to let this opportunity go by? Like, when am I going to see Thug again? So Dead ass, though. How many folks would have just been like, damn, I just seen Thug. Thug, and but now I ain't people, finna. Like, I yeah, but I ain't finna. I ain't finna turn around. Yeah, right. Well, I ain't gonna care. I wouldn't turn around, but you did. Yes, I had to. I had to, cause it's like I. I remember being in middle school. My friends like they would randomly run into um, Thug at like Linux or something, mm-hmm. and they always take a picture. And I was like, how come I go to Linux? I stay right by Linux, so I always go there. And how come I ain't never run into them? So I. So you ran into them? Huh? Did you run into anybody? Though? When I was when yeah. I would go to Linux, yeah, I ran into it. Migos when they was first like on their come up, mm-hmm. like really getting recognized. So Migos, uh, designer when he was still a thing. Um, let me see. Shout out Panda Express. <laughs> I feel like I've seen some other people, but I just can't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can't even think about it. But yeah, so um, I made a quick ass U turn because I was like, I can't let this opportunity go by. So I made a U turn. I went right back there. And then I pulled up next to the shop. Like, I turned next to it. Because I didn't know what he was on. You know what I'm saying? I was mm-hmm. just being respectful of him, too. So I was like, um, I, like, rolled down my window. And he immediately, like, he, like, saw me. I guess because it's, like, car slowed down right mm-hmm. there. So I, I'm, like, we making eye contact. And I'm like, Doug, like, what the fuck? Can I take a picture with you? Yada, yada. And this man, he start, he's standing up. And he like this. 
like he doing that to me. I'm like, I'm like, can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? He was like, yeah, come on. So I parked my car and I went to go take my picture and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> and then uh, he was really cool. I asked him about how his day was and stuff yeah. like that. So yeah, but it was it was so lit. And then I ended up um, giving him one of my hats and stuff. Like he was fucking with it too. He was saying that shit was hot as fuck. Like he was surprised when I put it out. Okay. Mhm. Okay. I was so, I felt so blessed, too. I had DM, um, all of, like, YSL, like, the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Like, little dude, yeah. Did guys. anybody, anybody repost it? Repost it? I know. No? No. <laughs> no, but they, all they did was like my DM, like, yeah. I mean. At least they seen it, though. Yeah, so it's just like, you know. But I know, um, what's it called? I know people who are in Thug's family, so it's crazy, because, like, um, I didn't even, I haven't talked to them in a long time. And randomly, I had saw one of my friends who's, like, part of his family, like, and I just swiped up, and I was just talking to him, and we had a conversation. And then that same day, I ended up seeing Thug. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That's crazy as fuck. That's crazy. Like that's, the sec that's the second time, yeah. you know, on some simulation shit, you know, said. The other time, you said off camera, you was talking about, you know, your accident situation. Oh, yeah. And even, bro, I had another simulation shit that happened to me today when I went to go buy these sweatpants. Mm -hmm. What? Um, I had seen one of my old friends instagram page mm -hmm. from like maybe like six years ago like a long long i haven't seen or thought about this person in years six years yeah so then all of a sudden um after i seen that instagram page it was like a few days ago and then today i'm like i'm just trying to get some sweatpants i just want something new and I'm, i go to urban outfitters and i see that motherfucker just standing right there yeah, him and his sister. I was like, what the fuck? Like, that is the craziest shit ever. And, like, we, everybody made eye contact. Like, it was just really weird. You know what I mean? That is super weird, though. Yes. I have, okay, like, a whole though. note. I wonder how the fuck did that even transpire. Shout out to okay. anything transpiring we're talking about. Uh, what the hell was you saying? <laughs> it's a simulation. Simulation. Yeah. And it's his conspiracy Wednesday. I forgot to say that. <laughs> I forgot to say that. I forgot to say that when we started off. Yeah, right? I ain't had one of these hoes in a minute. Mm. Uh, but speaking on top, on the back on the topic of that though, I had a uh, similar mm -hmm. experience. I was just watching like on my explore page. I don't know. I was just seeing like Jim Jones a lot. Jim Jones. Yeah, Jim Jones. You know, like uh, shit. <laughs> yeah, you gotta show me. Who is he? The rapper. A rapper. Okay. Rapper in New York. Damn. Maybe rapper. I like. Wow. What the fuck? Yeah, How yeah. did I not know? Once you figure it out, you're gonna be like. Damn. Yeah. Mm. Oh yes, okay. I didn't even need a look. I seen this little thing right there. I was yeah. like, okay. Right. <laughs> so, so I hope y'all know who Jim Jones is. So, so I see. So I've been seeing bro my Explorer page, and I was like, what the fuck? Then all of a sudden, I just had to stop, like, and it's a nigga bumping his tape, like loud as fuck, and I was just like, a Jim Jones thing. Yes, I was just like, what the fuck is going? What even is going on? Like you, you don't nobody <laughs> blast shit like that. I've never heard nobody. Blast nothing like that, and for yeah, it to be right. Jim Jones thinking that shit is just super trippy, super trippy. And you just super look weird. over and he. No, I ain't even look over there. I want to. I want to stun who the fuck was listening to oh, Jim Jones. Right. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I don't know what the hell Brad yeah, was on. Brad not in the right mind frame. I wouldn't be blasting that with the windows down. Uh, That's but, crazy uh, as fuck. I'm yeah. dead as fuck. Oh God. Mm -hmm. So what you thinking about this uh, Russian Ukraine um, Ukraine <sighs> war? What are your Damn. What are your thoughts on? Honestly, I feel like my thoughts are very controversial. Mm -hmm. So it's like, should what, I even say it? What? Um, this is conspiracy Wednesday. <laughs> but um, also, yeah. <laughs> you know what's going on as far as like why they even started? Okay, so I told y'all I was studying on that shit earlier, mm -hmm. but I actually skipped that whole part. Yeah. So I don't know if you could inform me. I don't yeah. think <laughs> I don't know if this the this is what what I heard just. Ukraine wanted to join NATO, mm -hmm. and which would have allowed um, the United States to point nuclear weapons at Russia or something like that, and probably some other shit as well. Mm -hmm. As far as Russia wanting you wanting Ukraine, some other shit. But yeah, they ended up. Um, you know what I'm saying? Fuck that! I'm just gonna go take it. Basically, Russia to Ukraine. Yeah, that's crazy as fuck. So, okay. So besides that, I feel like it's a it's a way bigger thing to it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, definitely, like, do you, how you feel about COVID before I get into the Russian-Ukraine thing? I feel like... That's a sensitive topic, too. Yeah, I feel like it's, I feel like it's a real disease, but I feel like just the way it was, 
it was pushed. It was um most definitely pushed to um too strenuous and just what they were saying wasn't making no sense as far as it. You know, everything was just COVID. You know, nobody was really worried about nothing else, and that was just kind of weird. You know, you got doctors and shit and people who are experts in mm-hmm. in certain fields being taken off of um Twitter and other platforms Hell being yeah. deplatformed for speaking their mind the, and their like, opinion. The slightest thing too. Yeah. That's just I don't know, it's a lot of weird shit going on. Mm-hmm. Got Definitely. Got so okay. So now that I know your opinion about that, with the Russian Ukraine thing, I feel like it's it's definitely kinda like another way to get at you you know what i'm saying like um covid it was definitely um an attack you know what i'm saying so and then with uh ukraine the war thing i feel like everybody all of a sudden why are we not talking about the other wars in africa why are we not talking about the other wars in the world going on but all of a sudden uh russia ukraine get into it and now the whole world like oh we fucked everybody's Mm. done but that's that's because i would say that's because russia nuclear capability and and going to Ukraine and getting that? Uh, I would say just them, like as far as like, I think out of all the nuclear, like if it, all the nuclear power is a hundred percent, Russia and United States make mm-hmm. up ninety percent of that. So like they really got the ability, to really like to wipe this bitch out for real. I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. Though. What what is uh Chernobyl right? Yeah, is, that was movie? that was a movie before. I had seen a movie actually Chernobyl, but that was also that was a. Uh, I think they were working on some nuclear shit there, and also just, I think some shit got wasted. But I feel like I can actually give up a real definition of what Chernobyl was. <laughs> I just know, I, I think it, it is in Ukraine, right? Like that whole little situation that happened. I might be wrong. I just really hope I, I'm not. Oh, Ukraine? Yeah, it did happen in Ukraine. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that. What's it say? Oh, don't What's it say about Chernobyl? Mm-hmm. It was a disaster, a nuclear accident that happened that occurred on April 26th. Um, reactor number four near the city of Prip Pipe. Okay. I did not say that right. <laughs> uh, northern of Ukraine. Um, it was considered the worst nuclear disaster in history. Mm. Uh, a radius 18.6 miles. The cause of it was reactor design flaws and human error. What does human error mean? So I feel like since Russia did that and everything, yeah, like absolutely yeah. everything you were saying. Yeah, absolutely. and they took over. Like Russia took over was one of one of the. So now they got a hold yeah. of that too, like yeah. that nuclear. Mm-mm. But. Like I was saying, though, like, I do feel like it is, like, genuine, like, reasons to it. You know what I'm saying? Genuine, mm-hmm. real reasons to it. Like, legit. But I feel like it's also, like, a form of... You see how the media is, like, genuinely putting fear in everybody's hearts again. Yeah. Like, the same thing they did with COVID. Yeah, yeah, COVID. Yeah, yeah. No cap, though. Like, all of a sudden, yeah. I feel like, like, all these memes that was happening, yeah. like, the military literally said they don't want this shit to be out. They don't want none of that. Because it makes it harder on, like coming up with plans and shit like that because everybody already know what the fuck you got going on. Yeah. So it's like, um, damn, I just drifted off from my thought. You talking about um, how they don't want want us posting about certain shit? Oh, yeah, posting. okay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. So, yeah, so I feel like they really, um, all these meme pages and shit like that that just started making Ukraine and Russia memes and shit like that. I feel like they're being pushed out. You know, Russia got Russian name farms. They got like, Social media farms were like, you may see people, somebody arguing with somebody on Twitter, and it mm-hmm. may that may be a fucking bot from exactly. Russia. Exactly, I believe that. And you see, I was just okay. That's what I was watching today too. It was like um, all those people that are reposting all this shit like that. If mm-hmm. you look at it, if you just click on it, it's yeah. all a bunch of bots. Like it yeah, ain't, it ain't bots, nobody yeah. else. It's just trying to get more attention, yeah. more people like. It's trying to get you shit. riled up, trying to get you angry. Yeah, you know, it's easy to get somebody mad. You know, it's so easy to get somebody mad. So. Make them yeah. feel like they got to do something yeah. about it. Like, but, what, but, but you got to think about why wouldn't Russia do that, though? But why are people even, you got, that just go back to, like, the core. And, like, people, why are you even engaged? Do, do you engage into, if somebody was doing that on Twitter, would you 
If you see a comment, would you start going back and forth with somebody about Hell on no. their thoughts? No. No. So, it's what, not, it's so not worth it. but some people, some people don't have that mindset. So it's just like, yeah, what is it about you. them to where to where they feel like they 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 gotta go back at them type shit. So. Yeah. No, I get that. But it's just like with the bots, though. I feel like it's just everything is there just to keep pushing the agenda that they want. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like same thing. Um, that's another thing. Besides the Russia Ukraine thing, I feel like um. The way media is pushing like a certain type of lifestyle now mm. is different, what especially since TikTok that? and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I I, like I, I'm not I'm not on TikTok, so same. I don't really know. I don't really know like. No, I'm not on. Yeah, I'm not on Twitter no more. I got I got off I got off Twitter and Black Twitter and all that like mm. a year and a half ago, cause I, that's when I really like had found out some shit. Really did some diving and shit, and then I was just sounding crazy. And I was like, let me just what you mean get off Twitter like. I ain't even gonna count. Like, I, everything what I was tweeting was just like some, what's the names of pedophile? This some shit. This some shit happened. Yes. This some shit happened. Oh my god. Tweeting links. Tweeting links. I was doing that what's on my own Instagram shit? page. Yeah. And they god. deleted me. Oh, for real? Yeah. I, it happened. Yeah. It's crazy because. That's what they do though. They literally, like, it was my first Instagram page. It was 632 Angie. Yeah. And, all, like, I was posting a lot of that shit. Like, um, all these celebrities y'all look up to, all these rappers, shit like yeah. that, they all doing crazy ass shit behind the curtains. Mm. They all, um, sex trafficking is the mm. biggest thing going on right now. Mm. And definitely, like, you know what I'm saying, with the COVID thing. I feel and for like sex trafficking, not to get any. Like, growing up on the news, like, you rarely hear about sex trafficking. Besides, you, if you ain't watch Law and SVU, you probably rarely heard it at all. Yeah. Literally, like you ain't never heard of it, never. Yeah. You just like your parents might tell you about it. You know what I'm saying? Like it was in that movie Taken. Taken with Liam Nelson. That was a human trap. I trap feel like I ring. have. I feel like I have. You, remember, you don't remember Taken? Bro, what, I, I, I watch like a movie every day. Yeah. Yeah. One movie every day. Yeah, I try to. One full movie every day. Uh huh. Like I just watched this really crazy simulation movie. I gotta give you the recommendation. Oh my gosh, this shit is crazy as fuck. Uh, time trap. I think it's called Time, time Trap. But that shit was crazy as fuck. It's like these people, okay. 2017 film. It's basically they're going on a hunt for the Fountain of Youth. Mm -hmm. The Fountain of Youth is in this cave. Yeah. And then the cave, each layer you go in, it slows time like more and more and more and more. Mm. It's, it's just crazy as fuck. Like, it's like, mm -hmm. it makes so much sense. And have you seen Moonfall? No. Go watch no. that shit now. You said you watch a movie a day. Yeah, well, literally, yeah. I'm not going to lie. I got... Do I got I got a TV tatted on me like I love I love TV like I love I love watching shit but I kind of fell out of watching shit for a while cause I was just like everything was bad it was just bad like right when you in that little area of mindset right thinking about mean? everything like with Twitter and Instagram no know, I'm talking about as far as just like like I'm a very heavy movie advocate like, I critique movies down okay, to like. See. You know how how folks acting, the lighting, Same. the I mean, lighting, the, the, pro yeah, the production and shit, yeah, all that, everything. Yeah. So when that shit, I just realized like a lot of movies not that far for real. No. So cap. I only be wanted to even. So I just watched so many movies that wasn't far. That I was just like everything ass. So I just been in that mode. But mm, you know, I feel you. But now that I, I, I would say I have went through another mind change after the last two years. So mm. I feel like everything that I watch over. Or that I've seen before is another time me watching it because I have another another understanding of things and yeah, and just shit like that. Really, all the movies I've been watching is like everything revolving what we talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like just simulations and shit like that. Like, yeah. That is crazy. You though. seen The Matrix before? You know it's crazy. What? No. Hell no. Me neither. Shit. Oh, really? what the fuck? oh my god! I thought you. Were I ain't be seen like, that what? bitch neither. No, I ain't seen that bitch neither. I'm dead as fuck. Oh, that made me feel so relieved. I was like, sheesh. Oh god, oh god. But no, like, um, damn, I had so much to say. I forgot it. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Avatar. Have you seen the live human remake? Well, that's Ebony. Yeah. The human remake. Yeah, yeah I did. That was, that was some that bullshit. That was horrible. Some bullshit. Literally, there was some time, like, that some points sick. in the movie where you could see the green screen yeah. in the background, like the little cubes and shit that, like, yeah. I was like, what the fuck? I probably didn't realize. If I, I watched it now, I'd probably be able to realize it, but when I was when I was watching that, like, on my phone. I was so mad. So disappointed. <laughs> it's like and a then, heartbreak. Yeah, and then it was only, like, up to, like, the scene when Aang was on the boat fighting Fighting, fighting with Zuko the first time when it was still the Water Nation type shit like it wasn't even like the whole thing yeah it wasn't right? even like at least at least a tongue or some shit get to the Earth Nation but yeah I, I ain't gonna lie I did watch Avatar so many times 
<laughs> I don't care. Bro. You said you did watch it? Yeah, I haven't seen that shit so many times. I the seen movie it. or just the show? The show. Oh, like, yeah. The, the show is great. The show is really God, great. though. Like, um, honestly, that's the only anime I watched. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm yeah. So, so satisfied with that. I'm fine yeah. with that. I don't think Dragon Ball Z, a couple of other animes. Yeah, no, never. Mm -mm. Yeah. But it's just, I just can't. T I was just talking about this yesterday. Like, to me, anime just looks like a bunch of porn to me, bro. For real? Yeah. All the bitches walking around with big ass titties, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Little tiny ass skirts and whatnot. Yeah. They just be doing that thing. That's, just... that's what, well, that's exactly. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Yeah. yeah so it's I guess like... so. I guess <laughs> so. Yeah. If you look at it like that, yeah. So Avatar, I remember growing up, like Avatar be on Nickelodeon and shit like yeah. that. So it was just like. It was... You know, this other anime. Uh, there are animes where there are some not like that, though. I will say that. That's like. That's probably Japanese anime. <laughs> Where it's like all porn? Yeah. Mm. Or like with, with folk pertaining to like having like big titties and shit like that. Like yeah, that's right? probably like no, but. I used to read the books too, though. Yeah. You ain't never read a, like a manga? Is it manga or manga? No, I ain't never. I ain't never watched an anime. I never wow. read one. So you only watch like anime TV shows? Yeah. Mm. Nah. Okay. Nice yeah. to know. Nah. <laughs> I didn't know this even paused. Oh, the Lofi. It's crazy as fuck because I like that. She's so iconic. That screen right there. Yeah, super iconic. Yeah, right. I'm trying to figure out uh, why my speaker must be off. Must be dead. Horror, horror, action, or sci-fi? Yeah, horror. or thriller? Yeah. Yeah, thriller. Thriller is good. What it gets. Thriller is great. Yes, right. Like. If it's a, yeah, like, if it's a really good thriller, that shit makes you feel like you're in there, like. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, what I realized is, mm -hmm. in, in movies, like, if them bitches is, if them bitches is, like, an hour and 30 minutes or an hour and 20, probably mm -hmm. ain't gonna be that good. It won't be that good? Yeah, it probably ain't gonna be that good if you look at the time, because, like, how long can you really develop a plot for real? Right, in that short amount. Yeah. I feel you. Yeah, and movies started being an hour and 30 minutes, like I would say around 2014, 2015. That's when social media really started, you know, p picking up folks' attention mm. spans, started dropping off. Damn, I ain't never thought about it like that. That's crazy. I'm not going I'm a real movie kind of sore. Like, yeah, I, I, I witnessed this. And I witnessed the drop off of just like, just just because you can't really challenge people's thoughts through movies anymore because of. Just cancel culture and all that, so everything got to be in just one bubble as well. That's why a lot of this shit ass as well. Mm -hmm. You know, people can't really expand on like, you know, do like a, how can I do like a what's a movie that a movie back in the day that was good that you probably gonna be able to do now. Mm, you could think of a lot of like um, what the. People like Seth Rogen movies and shit like that. Yeah, like shit. The early ones like that. Yeah, some like that are like. Hangover, maybe Hangover. I don't know. It was some, it was some racial slurs. Anything with like racial slurs in, or anything Hell with like, no, with, with like somebody slighted, where somebody would be able to cancel somebody. You can't do that, and that's why, yeah. that's why all you see now is just fucking remakes. Everything is remakes, right? No and cap. Fucking, like, it's another Batman. Like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Fuck, what are y'all right? doing? Yeah, I feel you. More Marvel movies. Marvel movies to be part of. Once, once really Avengers Endgame. Mm -hmm. Shoot, ass. I'm dead as fuck. I, have, I don't even watch any of those superhero movies. No cap. Because I just feel like it's just, all, it's the same story. Just repeat it over and over fast and over. And Fast and Furious too. Just like, exactly. stop it. Stop it. Why'd they make so many? Stop it. I'm saying, they talking about Fast 11, I'm Fast dead 12. Fuck. Like, 11. no. Fast, stop that shit, please. I'm dead as fuck. Please stop it. Let me mm. see if I can get this. What's your name, man? There we go. But, ooh, ooh. Since we're talking about movies, we can actually talk about that thing that happened. Um, what's it called? With the dude. You was talking about it on your last conspiracy Wednesday. What? The guy who accidentally shot somebody. Accidentally oh, shot somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Mm -hmm. I, I forgot about that. But, yeah, he did accidentally shoot that. She was from you. She was a Ukraine sitting there. Oh, that's but. crazy as fuck. That's crazy as fuck, ain't it? Whoa. I ain't, I ain't think about it. Hold on. I'm trying yeah, to see. Right? Hmm. But I feel like that was definitely on purpose. Like, how the fuck? No way. If she was Ukraine, I mean, that's probably just, that probably got nothing to do with it, but it's just mm -hmm. like, whoa. 
<laughs> <laughs> it's like I follow hella like you be getting like when you so I see you really big in conspiracies, but do you be going as deep as like numerology and shit like that? Yeah, I feel like if you go deep, I done been down the rabbit hole. Oh yeah, I've been around a rabbit hole to where I didn't, I didn't, I didn't started crying not because I was sad, but like because my spot. brain, my brain was just overwhelmed. You was like, crying. Tears, tears are coming down my eyes because what I'm seeing and reading, everything piecing together throughout life and history, and it's making sense. It makes And I just start sense. crying because I'm just overwhelmed with like, what the fuck, bro. <laughs> That's how I felt when I watched when I watched the fucking those simulation movies, Moonfall, Time Trap, all that shit like that. Like yeah. it made it ties every single thing together. Yeah. Like a hundred percent. I don't know, but some people have different stories about you know simulation. I ain't, I ain't never used to think about simulation. I used to think, I really just think like, I don't know. It really depends on what show. I feel like religion goes into a lot of lifestyle yeah. as well. Right. Like is know. is. Religion, in a way, like, are they talking about a simulation in a way? She is from Ukraine. She is? Oh, that's crazy as fuck. Mm-hmm. She died, right? Yeah. Sacrifice, you think? What you think? Yeah. Sacrifice? Yeah. Uh, depends on for what and who. I heard she was working on, I heard she was working on something, um, as far as, I heard she was working on, mm-hmm. uh, um, a documentary on pedophiles that about was on the Reddit, Epstein though. thing right it, it might have been Epstein or it might have been just pedophiles period yeah so who who knows for real even the Epstein shit that's just weird bro you know? I feel like honestly the Epstein thing it ties in with every conspiracy yeah it's positive with everything it, it, everybody know like it's weird thing is like everybody got a sense it's weird but like uh-huh. it's not being talked about on the main stage because uh, duh cause the same people who over there buying all that shit who feeding into it is the same yeah. people that's right in front of our face you know what I'm talking about yeah like celebrities rappers the people in the media like your news anchors that you be watching all of them they're all part of it you know what I'm saying yeah so it's like some of them probably don't even know but you gotta mm-hmm. think of, some of them probably don't even like we went down a rabbit hole because of uh, whatever reasons why we did that. Some people yeah. don't even get to that why they gotta go down a rabbit hole, so they probably not even aware that they even in in that. Exactly, but that's the thing is like that's like ninety percent of the people here, like in the world. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like everybody's so clueless, but it's also yeah. like there's people who are you know I'll, I'll be mm. generous. I'll say eighty percent because the other ten. I, I, I feel like a lot of folks are starting to wake up a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Well, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. But I, I feel like it's some people who just don't want to hear it. Like they don't want to. Yeah. They don't want to think about. Yeah, they don't want to think about it. They don't want to give a fuck. They be like, "Why am I concerned?" And I, I yeah. understand that as well. I do. I do in a way, but it's just like, like, damn, you're really. Well, but, yeah, it's kind of like, but how can you say you want better for real though? Wait, what? How can you say you want better for real though? If you're not ready to. Mm, you don't want to hear right? it, you know? Yeah, like, you got to be open to like, hearing it. Yeah, like, like I feel it, like retweeting shit. You know, like, how I feel like I'm not into religion, but I feel like religion probably has made its way into social media to where people feel like, I think about this all the time, people mm-hmm. feel like social media is is the the notification hub. Like, Growing up, like before, I I I didn't stop believing in Christianity and all that, all that Western. Not saying I was heavy in the church anyway, but yeah, yeah. Like you would see those, like if you don't retweet, you know, you don't retweet if you don't love God. Oh you know, yeah, type right. shit. You feel some type of way. You like, oh, I yeah, love God, no, but I don't right. want to retweet though. It's like, yeah, you know, you, it's like, but why is that anyway? Like, this some social media shit. Why is that even? So what are you? It's a retweet button. Why does that right. even matter though? But just like, just that in itself, like. Begin to you? No, it don't get to me. What I'm saying like just the whole, just just you take that, and and you apply that to like other things. As far as, let's say, but somebody were to see like, hmm, I'm trying to figure out my password. What I'm thinking, my mind. <laughs> I'm done as well. You like God. in two places right now. <laughs> God, I'm trying to pull this. Um, what's the name? Of it? I be on Reddit. You be on Reddit? I be on Reddit. I be on Reddit. <laughs> like, I have all the conspiracy things on there. I think I have my yeah. own little community feed where it's, like, a bunch of just conspiracies and shit. Yeah. Or, like, like skinwalkers. You be reading about that? Skinwalkers? What's that? Yeah. 
You don't know what a skinwalker is? Mm. I feel crazy as fuck even saying that. You know, that's mm. crazy as fuck. It's like um, it's like a Navajo um, folklore, I guess you could say. I don't know, but it's like um, Navajo sto- like belief that it's like animals that can shape shift, basically, like um, coyotes that walk on their two f- on their hind legs, mm. like animals that all of a sudden. And what is this called? A skinwalker. A skin? Oh, you said skinwalker? Yeah. Nah, if you would have said skinwalker, I would have said you said skinwalker for real. Yeah, yeah, no, I said skinwalker. I thought you said scadwalker. Sc- I'm just sc- fuck scadwalker. Or, or some, I don't know. I, don't I gotta know. take I, I ain't hear skinwalker, but mm-hmm. yeah. So you yeah, do I know heard, what it is. Yeah, I heard what skinwalker. Yes. Let's just explain it again, though. Let's just explain it some more. What you was gonna get into? Let's say mm. I didn't know. Just finish explaining. Mm. <laughs> but it's just, uh, yeah. So it's, um, it's just like I don't know. It's usually in like. The Mexico territory, I guess mm. you say. I'm looking at your map, trying to figure out where it could like be. Like a but. chupacabra. Chip. It's it's that you ever chupacabra. Heard of that? Yeah, a chupacabra is a separate thing now. Mm. You ever heard of like dog man? Dog man. I heard of wolf man. A wolf man. Yeah. I like or wolves. Or moth man. I like wolves. Moth man. Yeah. No. That's a big thing. I think like North Carolina, South Carolina. What is moth man? I'm not man? sure. It, uh, moth man. It's li- it, yeah, literally. <laughs> it's like a it's like a seven foot fucking moth. Like built like a fucking. What the fuck are you talking about? Man, what? <laughs> like imagine, imagine he's just flying. But it's a real thing. Like they got statues and shit of that shit over there. I'm dead ass. What the fuck? Yo, I just said a seven foot moth shredded, shredded man. <laughs> <laughs> Big red eyes like the moth. And no, seriously though. Or the Jersey Devil. How do you not know these things? Jersey Devil. I think I heard that before. You went down one rabbit hole, didn't go down yeah. the other rabbit hole. Yeah, probably go down. I'm, I probably you probably went down. What what? I went down all the rabbit holes. Yeah, Fuck. the alien rabbit hole. I'm there. Yeah. I'm there right now. I've yeah. seen. I've seen yeah. that shit. I, I, I was probably the one I was. You can go down a rabbit hole so much where like you probably won't even get to see so much because you're traveling so deep in one. Bro, I, oh, I see what you're saying. You just get, going head first yeah. in this other one. I yeah. feel you. But it like that shit like ooh. I just thought about something like yeah. simulation and the um. You know QAnon and stuff. You gotta know. Yeah, QAnon. I know QAnon. Yeah, I know so QAnon. when I first got into yeah, this I know QAnon. <laughs> These conspiracies and whatnot. Like, I, I was thrifting a lot at this time. Like, I love thrifting, but I haven't done it recently because it, it's just been so mainstream. So, you know what I'm saying? But, um, so I went thrifting, and it's like, I used to, like, myself, I would hear my stuff in my in my head. I would be like, go go to uh, Goodwill today. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Go to, what's that, Salvation Army. So, um, I randomly was like, okay, I'll just go to Salvation Army. I'm usually always up doing something. Mm-hmm. So, I go to Salvation Army, and the first thing I find was this amazing gray sweatshirt in my size, perfect size, everything. And it was a QAnon, and it had a rabbit on it, and it said, follow the white rabbit on it. Mm. I, I bought that shit. Took that shit home. Yeah. I got it home. I should have wore that shit. I don't know why the fuck yeah. I did it. What the white rabbit symbolize? The white rabbit? Mm-hmm. It's like, well, actually, I don't know what the white rabbit symbolizes. I feel like it's like all the conspiracies and stuff like that. You just constantly chasing the rabbit, because it's really hard to catch rabbit. Oh, rabbit hole. Yeah. What? Oh, that's what you're talking about. I'm dead as fuck. Dang. It's okay, though. It's all right, though. Sheesh. Sheesh. That, it feel like a no. brain slap. I'm dead as fuck. A brain no. slap. Awesome. Like Scadwalker? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Scadwalker. That's what you said. Yeah. You said something like that. I was like, what? I was like, huh? No, I ain't heard of that. You said Skinwalker. I was like, yeah, I heard of that. Heard of yeah. that motherfucking guy. But all that shit. Ooh, like Bigfoot. You believe in Bigfoot? Bigfoot? I was thinking about that when I was driving the other day. I was like, it's Bigfoot. <laughs> I think about last year when I be driving, but yeah, no I don't even be listening to music no more. I was just about to ask you. Lie. Like, I can imagine you straight face just in the car just driving. Like, just yeah, thinking no about Bigfoot. <laughs> 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 or Mothman, now that you know what yeah, it is. No, yeah, no cap, though. I see. I'd have probably seen a couple Mothman around this bitch. A shredded I'm nigga. No cap. A shredded nigga. Hell no. In, in downtown Atlanta? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Mothman to get his ass beat. Mm. But the thing is, like, that's what I be thinking about these. When she be like, I'm like, can these niggas, can these niggas fight? Can they niggas take bullets? I want you to think about like ghosts and shit and like hunted spears. Then I realize mm. you going, man, they ain't, <laughs> okay, you're not doing nothing to them. <laughs> so I feel like that's what I was watching growing up, bro. What? Ghost shit. Niggas, cause I, I tell niggas oh, like, I be yeah. telling niggas like, yeah, I ain't really watched Boondocks. I, I, I was telling you, I ain't never seen an episode of Boondocks. I was watching before, Ghost like. Hunters. Ghost yeah, I was watching Ghost Hunters, Ghost Adventures, fucking Hell yeah. real, Literally st- yeah, that's crazy something stuff. stories. 
on YouTube, I'd be typing in top six scariest. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, New Jersey Rose type shit, all that yeah, type shit, like, on YouTube. New like, Devil. Oh, yeah, I that's what I said. I heard, I, yeah, I heard, I heard it wasn't, yeah. That's why I'm saying all that shit got pieced together, because when, like, when I seen it, like, I went on a conspiracy shit to, like, 2020, for real, for real, but, like, yeah, right? I had heard about it, though. You know, I had heard about it. Vision. That's crazy. Yeah. Sorry, I just talking about it. Go ahead. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but I had heard about, like, just the little shit growing up. You know, you hear about the Rihanna, you know, Kanye, mm-hmm. and... Jay Z, the musical. Whoa. Yeah, and it's just like, ah. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. It's like, damn. And then, you know, you, I watched the video of 2020, and you see it's like, you put yourself in them shoes, and just like, well, you have did that. It's like, what would persuade somebody to do that? Because everything is a cause and effect, especially people at that high up, like, yeah. just wearing something like that. They got to be, you know, they got to be something. But then I feel like it's such out there, and nobody give a fuck. It's just like, they know, but then some folks feel like they can't do nothing about it. Which you really can't really do nothing about it. Just like kind of just know about it. I don't yeah, feel like no wise cap. niggas hiding who they is. I feel like just gonna pop so, it, like pop your shit, agenda. pop your shit, gonna pop. Like, I feel like everybody's just gonna pop their shit to the fullest. All of you a know? sudden, huh? I'm like, talking like everybody. Know. Like I feel like what a lot of shit going on behind the scenes is because it's money for sure, but it's because niggas is just evil though. But I feel like. They trying to hide the evenness. She's like, why y'all hiding y'all evenness? Just be straight up about just it. Just be straight up. Just pop your like, shit. I feel like a lot of them can't, though, because it's like, that's part, they all, all these, like, I was just watching videos like that today. Like, um, they have to take an oath. Like, Cardi B was talking about she took an oath when she was 16 years old. Mm. Like, all of them got to take oaths and stuff to never talk about it. Don't, they have to push out this persona. Like, they're not pushing themselves out. These are not these real people's personalities. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's what, the, what their owners want them to do. You know what I mean? Like, basically, their managers. Mm. That's what the fuck they want them to do. You feel like all of them are like that? And and then, who do you pick and choose who is like that? You know? That's what I'm saying. That's like, what I get caught up in. It's just like, so it so just be like, so am I just, is it just, a, is it just fishy? But I don't, then I know it's not fishy because, you know, you hear the stories and then you hear about other rappers in the industry and say, you know, you got to walk in certain doorways, but certain doorways you can't walk into because it's three niggas in that bitch fucking, it's, it's weird shit going on in this room and I don't, I ain't even want that. So I, I just, that so I just let my career just, you know, just stay where it's at type shit and just like, damn, just like tight shit, just like folks be, but then it's that, it's that. Everybody want, you know, everybody want to elevate. Everybody want elevation in their life. Mm-hmm. So you put this thing in front of their face where you can get this elevation, but you got to do Fast this. Fast as fuck, though. Yeah. But you got to do this, though. It's kind of, like, crazy where, you know, it's kind of like, you know, I don't heard folks talking about it's parties in L.A. Is you got to sign NDAs to get into. It's kind of like. I was just ah. talking about that with somebody. But it's probably, probably like, yeah. But that's just because, you know, it's illegal shit in there they doing for sure. Bro, they all probably, like, human centipedes in there and shit like that. What like, the fuck? No cap. That shit. It's probably, you know what, though? Like, Men in Black? I know you seen Men in Black, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. I feel like Men in Black probably was on, like, the doctor's office on some shit. Or on the doctor's office, like, for sure. Folks had to see Men in Black. But I feel like, yeah, Men in Black probably for sure. Who knows, though? We probably done seen some shit. And like a nigga come and 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 put the shit in our face and just we just forget about it. Who knows? Mm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right? Like yeah, literally, like it could happen to you at any time. And then we sleep. Everybody cuts off every day for a certain amount of time. We know it's sleep. <coughs> we know it's sleep type shit. But like mm-hmm. the mind still be on. You're like, what's going on? And like we know you're so vulnerable when you go to sleep. Like oh yeah, right. I see like, what you're saying. You're just like that's the only time of period where like. You just, you, you like, you can't, you just really just, you're laying horizontally, yeah, resting, can can't hear shit. You. Anything yeah. can happen to you, like, real shit, but you got to do it. I feel what you're saying. Like, it, you could be, like, hypnotized while you sleep. Like, I be doing, like, um, them sleep meditations. I be listening to, like, guided meditations. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's, like, a form of, like, heavy hypnosis. And then aliens yeah. and stuff like that, you never know what the fuck. Yeah. They could be coming down to you. Yeah, I'm glad though. But I heard, I heard that America signed, an uh, alien signed a thing with um, like America, mm-hmm. where it's like they allow aliens to perform certain like stuff on oh, on humans. Yeah, yeah I heard like, it too though. And stuff yeah, like but I, I believe that though. No cap. Like, so many people in the world are like, you take a motherfucker mm-hmm. in fucking Utah, niggas just got off work or something like, 
a waitress got out working, you tied a right. diner walking home or some shit. Or just got out his truck. red pickup yeah, truck. Yeah, like, yeah, like shit like that. Like, I'm well, definitely gonna... snatching that nigga, seeing what's up. I don't know. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I ain't seen shit, but they got like, I know they testing on animals and shit and like oh, yeah. cross. I want to see this shit though. An alien? Yeah, I would like to see that. But I, I did. I actually did yeah. see one. I was on. I was gonna ask you. I actually did see one a video. Well, either one to be real or one to be fake. But the shit look, shit look real. What is real anyway? You know. So it's just. Are you, okay. Let me guess. Are you talking about the one? It got a girl in the video. No, this was an alien on the table. They found a ship that crashed, and they brought the body to like. Oh. Oh, he's like getting shit. like opened up. No, they didn't even open the nigga up though. It was just the Later? alien. Nigga had to be like seven foot long. It was uh, like VC8, v, uh, yeah. VHS footage. It was shit look real. Just look weird yeah. as fuck. No, because I was just like, what the fuck? And it's just like other shit going on as far as like FBI agents and shit. Like like saying like, yes, there are aliens here. There are what's the name? And then like, They're real you know, fuck. whistleblowers okay. and shit. It's just like people don't pay attention to that. Like whistleblowers, folks who don't work in these agencies. Like, they know shit. But you remember, you remember in early two thousands, like they would say aliens aren't real. That shit, that shit not real. All the news they would never. It's not real. And then now all of a sudden you see on the media on the news, just like twenty twenty one, um, what's it called? They've been pushing aliens are real. All of a sudden you see them in news articles and shit like that. Yeah. Like hella shit talking about it. I feel like, I feel like there could be a potential fake like um alien invasion that going on. I feel like that. That's something I'd be thinking about. No but cap really though, no no cap though. Like mm-hmm. that's coming. No no alien yeah. invasion. No, of I, course, I even the Simpsons talked about that. Mm-hmm. Yes, like every single day I think about this shit. Every single day, like I see the way that the advertisements are, the way yeah. like McDonald's, the golden arches, all this shit. It's just a form of of getting to everything. You. It's symbolization. It be nothing is done for no reason, especially these high end like. Everything, everything is done for a reason. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah, and it's just oh, have you ever seen a UFO? Mm, you? Yeah. For real? Hell yeah. Oh God, and where? You know, I see. Um, last where the hell year, you was at? Last year I was in fucking Buckhead. I was in Buckhead. Wow, in Atlanta. I was in yeah, like I so um, what's it called? I always go. I used to have friends. I would always smoke with, right? Mm-hmm. So I love to go to like outside. I love to do shit. So I'm outside, we outside in this park by my neighborhood, Little Nancy Creek Park. And they got this big ass like um, like turtle shell. It's like an upside down turtle shell. Mm-hmm. And basically somebody like on the other side, on the outside, they run around and push it and it spins around and shit like that. Or you can just lay in it and chill. Mm-hmm. So me and my friend, we was smoking in there. And we was just chilling and you laying in it. So the only thing you see in is up, you know what I'm saying? So we just smoking, passing the blunt. We going back and forth, just talking about random shit. All of a sudden, like, all of a sudden, these two white lights, like, white orbs of mm-hmm. light, like, really, really, like, ridiculously bright, like, like that. Imagine that in the sky, like, pitch black at night, like, so I see these two white orbs just randomly appear, like, they just appear. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they start, it looked like they was playing with each other, like, playing. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, they started crisscrossing each other, like that, like, like a DNA symbol, you know how that goes? So it's like a DNA symbol. And then all of a sudden, they zoomed off into a cloud and just disappeared. Straight up disappeared into the cloud. Yeah. I've been believing, like, clouds and shit. Like, a lot of these clouds are, like, cloaked UFOs. Would you be thinking, like, to take a picture or get a video? Or was you, like, you just wanted to witness it? I was just witnessing it. It was uh, in uh, the uh, moment. Yeah, that, that, that? That, that, that's what I think a lot of folks, when a lot of folks be like, where, where is video, where is video oh, evidence and shit? It's like, yeah. some folks probably get caught up in, like, what the fuck is this? You want to pull it on camera? That's not the first instinct your first instinct is to get wide eyed and yeah, take all the like, senses it's in it's a real just... life thing it's not gonna be like you just timing it like oh i'm you know what i'm saying like it's none of that yeah. it just randomly happens to you and it was like you want to like you want like that i don't know i don't know, know yet? Mm-hmm. you can smoke it though if you want oh you can i'll just wait till you like it. okay <laughs> sorry about that though. Yeah. but um yeah so i feel like all that but i've seen like another one there too when i was there but it was like it was less like that. Like that was the craziest shit I've ever experienced. But um, the second time I seen it, it was just like a white orb appear. Like it was like really big. It seemed like really close to me, like right where the treetops were. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, it disappeared and disappeared. It was like the weirdest thing. If an alien invasion happened, bro. A stage one or a real one? 
What's if it's staged? That shit real. Stage? What do you mean staged? Yeah. Like it's fake aliens? I I feel like it could be um, staged by the government. I feel like what do you think folks got the idea of what an alien even look like? That's how you know they real. Hell it's just yeah. like they all tall, green. You, yeah, just like if somebody told you to gray mind. somebody told you to draw, told you I want you to draw what they all look the same. Hmm. Let me see an object that would mm-hmm. be like weird. Like if I told you to draw, if I told you to draw like okay. um, I want to say candy cane. I'm saying because <laughs> you can know candy cane shape. I'm trying to think of somewhere where it's like weird or draw a rock or some shit like something like that a mountain draw a mountain and like you've never seen a mountain before <coughs> like yeah. how would you know what to draw you know i feel you like how do you immediately result to that like how do you know how to draw that mountain when you've never seen a mountain? when you've never seen a mountain before okay. so I, I feel like that just going to like that and even other movies i guess creativity creativity is a thing for mm-hmm. sure, but I don't know. I don't know about but that. But where does it start from? Is exactly. It, like, how does it randomly... How do you know? How do you know? And all of the stories, they're all the exact same. Like, tall, slender, gray aliens, big black eyes. Like, what? How do you know this? But there's some... Like, I've, I've seen them where... I've heard of stories, like, on Reddit especially, where it's, like, mm-hmm. stuff where they're, like... They can be humans, like reptilians. Do you believe in reptilians? Yeah, I feel like, yeah. I feel, I've honestly seen some videos of, like, some weird shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're real videos, but I just feel like, I feel like everything ain't real. Hell like, yeah, what you is be fake? Them with, like, the what is anchors? fake for real? You know? Mm-hmm. And then, like, with. Yeah, damn, that shit is probably B. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> when, uh, what, what you think about, like, this metaverse shit, like, th- that role or of that? Fuck. What do you think is the role of that, though? He, huh? What do you think is the role of the metaverse? To continue to push everything that's going on. Like, it's like, it's an agenda that they're pushing in. And everybody's in on it. Like, that's what I'm saying with the Russia-Ukraine thing. Like, mm-hmm. everything, like, he's he's fucking up Russia, like, financially. Like, no cap. I feel like everything's yeah. like... Um, they said not... I, I, was, I, was, I watched this, this news anchor shit. Mm-hmm. Not like a mainstream one. One, yeah. one that tells you, like... That they don't do the, the shit that mainstream news does. It's called breaking points and shit like that. Mm-hmm. I'll be watching that shit and they said that um Russia, even though we, we did like drop a nuclear bomb like financially, like as far as cutting them off, uh-huh. that that if you worst case scenario is that it'll drop like seven percent, which isn't that crazy, but it is bad, but it ain't like they gonna be like on some stop the war, stop the war, stop the war. Yeah, like folks gonna be though? folks gonna be crazy, yeah. That's out crazy. of 100, so that's like 93% still straight. Yeah. And, like, they can make up for that, like, trading with, you know, other Europe countries or China right. and shit like that, so. But still, I feel like it's it's everything they're pushing out, like, cashless. I feel like they're, everything is really becoming, like, how the movies told us it was going to be. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, everything is cashless, touchless. I read, I read an article, a news article. Mm-hmm. It was like, by 2030, you will own nothing. You will have nothing in your name. And you will be happy about it. You know what I'm talking about? Like, have you seen? Have you ever seen that? Mm. But it's like the craziest thing. Like, it's really that like they're really though. doing like, that though. What do we own? They don't want anybody to own nothing. But I feel like they're going. I feel like the higher ups, like the elites, like. Do you feel like we own anything in this world? What you mean by that? Like, that could be a lot. Anything like? I feel like yeah, you work hard for something, and yeah, you. You own work hard it. for money, but you got to trade yeah. your time in for money. Yeah, you gotta trade your time in for money. You do. You don't. Damn. Yeah, that's why I, I never thought about that. Like when you get money like that, you trade your time in to get it. Hell yeah, you have to work ten hours of your life to get a hundred dollars to spend twenty dollars on some food, twenty dollars on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you giving your life up. That's why I'm saying like that's why I'm really pushing my brand. I'm pushing me. Like, that's it. Because once I, like, I love teaching. I love doing the shit that I did. Because I feel like a lot of the jobs that I, I took in life were meaningful. Like, it taught me stuff and helped me push forward. Mm. But once I realized that I'm really wasting my life sitting right here right now, like, no, I couldn't do it no more. What are your plans? Uh, Like, what are some further plans that you plan to do with your, with your brand? Oh, this shit is going to be, like, everything. Like, it's going to be, like... First, I'm going to start off with clothes, like, just specifically clothes, like, hats, socks, shirts, sweatshirts, yada, yada. I'm going to have a drop. I wanted to have a drop this month, but a lot of 
crazy shit going on. Mm-hmm. So, but, um, and then I want to expand to like household things, like your everyday things, like your lighters, your blankets, mm. your pillowcases, your everything. Like all of a sudden you see it everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really a lifestyle too. Like you're free of problems in real life. Mm. That, made, that makes sense though. Yeah. I, I like I like the I like the 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 brand with just the what what's the meaning of it, but also like yeah, it would be cool to see in the household you know like some carpet stuff i appreciate that yeah hell yeah but it's all like genuinely out my mind because it's like mm-hmm. um all my life i always wanted i always felt creative you know what i'm saying like i always loved to draw i love to paint sketch any any fucking thing i loved it i used to write poetry books and shit like that yeah. but then um like it just never felt like me you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. all of a sudden so, so, what, so what made you do it then you just doing it because you was just interested <laughs> No, see, it's like I was just testing shit out. Like you see on my story, I be doing hella shit. Like I got a bike project going on now. I don't even ride bikes, mm-hmm. but shit. So it's like I just be doing hella shit. So then, um, I'm trying to find this creative outlet for myself. And mm-hmm. when I was doing that, like I was just designing clothes. Like, I was just randomly just ske- I found myself just randomly sketching out little designs and shit that I liked in mm-hmm. my book. And I'm like, damn, like this feels like me. That feel like me. So mm-hmm. that's why I'm pushing. You know what I'm saying? So. How did how did you come up with with just free of problems? Free of problems because I just felt like that's all I ever want to be in life mm-hmm. is free of problems. Like mm-hmm. it seemed like it's all like I lo- I love the universe. I love like how I know how blessed I am and stuff like that. Like I'm very aware, appreciative and shit like that. But it's like it's always some, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's like what if I told you problems are good? Problems problems are good in a way though. Problems are good in a way, cause you get you get taught some at the yeah. end of the day. It's a lesson in every problem that you got. It's just you get this, it's just the category of problems that the problems are in that you would like to yeah, be free right? of. Yeah, it's like that. I yeah. That feeling where you can just sit back and chill, like you yeah. know that feeling when you just don't got a busy day, like you can just sit inside all day mm-hmm. and just do what you want. You how long? Know. How long would you want to do that? Free of problems. No, like let's say let let's say you get to that point where you can just fuck. Kick back, chill, have you some oh, like you just have kick back like somewhere on the beach. Mm-hmm. Kick back chilling. You ain't worried about nothing. Like how long can you do that? How long could I chill? Yeah. Honestly. To where you feel like you would need to do some again. Get back up and do it again. Or, or feel like or feel like you need to do some or keep working. Realistically, probably about three months. Mm-hmm. Three months. Because it's like, yeah, I can I would love to chill. Because it's literally like Every single day, I um, find myself doing some shit. Like, it's genuinely like that. But the thing is, like, I like that. I think I was talking to you about that, right? How it was, like, um, every day, like, I'm always um, moving around. I don't really have that, like, balance. You know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? Yeah. So it's, like, it's just been that. So it's, like, I feel like if I finally get to chill and stuff like that, I could do it. But for, like, three months, and then all of a sudden, I'm going to start scratching. You know, be itching and shit. But so, yeah, and then and then as soon as that like as soon as I can't take it no more, which is mm-hmm. that three months, I probably can find myself doing something else again. Yeah. What are your other interests that you would like to dive into besides, besides? Um, Free bombs. You know, besides just your brand. What else would you like to do as far as you know, acting maybe? Mm. When I was going steady in the gym, I kind of wanted to be a personal trainer. No really? cap, yeah. Because I had people who would come up to me and ask me, like they would, mm-hmm. they would dead ass ask me, like, "Can I be your gym partner? Like, when are you coming back again? Yada yada, like shit like that. Or can I pay you for a session and stuff like that?" And I'm just like, I'm not even here for this, you know? Yeah, I'm good. I only got no, but I only got no certificate, but I, certificate and some shit like that. I done asked that before too, though, just mm-hmm. on, on my IG. But I would say, I start. I want to start a workout community though. Mm, I, I like that, yeah. yeah that is. Because that's, that like, motivating. Because a yeah. lot of people don't want, like, me, it took me a long time to get out of the home, like, working out at home to go into the gym. Because I just used it's to gonna do that. It's going to do that. I, I ain't going to lie. I don't know what my, I had a paper. Mm-hmm. I wrote down, like, what I used to do. I used to wake up, uh, turn the shower on, let it steam, put on, like, some a hoodie, sweatpants, go in, go in the shower, and just, yeah. like, do, like, a little 18-minute workout. Meditate in the shower, take my shower, and just be done. And that's my workout for the day. Mm. And just build up until, okay, now I'm in the gym with weights and doing core work and doing all that. Mm. But I burn myself out, though, doing the same shit every day, though. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, I ain't worked out like, like I ain't worked out like two weeks. Really? Yeah. Dang, what the fuck? That's crazy though. But no, I have. I'm saying that like I have yeah. been going consistently. No, yeah. I haven't. I just started. Like, but I did night. say I did say this month that I was gonna be. Gr- I am stacking this month though. I ain't gonna count though. Mm. Nigga had me stacking bread up so. Okay, good. Nigga plan on doing taking some trips though. Mm, I the love next that. couple of months though. I be doing like random like camping trips. I be going camping just, trips. For real? Hell yeah. Kind of camping though, like real life camping though. No, not the tent on the ground. I'm talking about <laughs> like, um, I've done stuff where it's like, it's called like glamping. It's um, it's like I did one where it was like a tent that was in the trees. Like mm. it was suspended on like a trampoline mm. surrounded by trees, so it was held up there. You got to climb a ladder to get up. It was really lit. Like it was really lit. I'm it was some Airbnb shit. Yeah, it's actually an app for camps. It's called Hip Camp. Yeah, that's hard. Where you can get like tiny houses and stuff like that. Oh I yeah, love yeah, that. yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad. That's definitely. I be watching true. tiny houses on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like that. You can get you can buy a house off Amazon or Home Depot for like thirty thousand, like. I mean, it'll just come to you. It'll come. Yeah, to you. on God, you had a bitch on, on the try to trail on God. I seen like, that. Like what? How do you? That's crazy as fuck. That reminds me of like some like Minecraft shit, like some. Sim- that like is some Sims. Minecraft shit. I thought about traveling Roblox? all the states. No, I was just traveling all the states in like a SUV. Just living uh-huh, in the SUV. Dad, like an RV. That's uh, lit though. I was yeah, RV. RV. I thought RV to be too fucking fat. No cap. I'm trying to just get in my shit. Nigga. I feel like a suburban or like a fat, a good size SUV. Suburban like a, or a Genesis, some some like that, like, like a luxury. Yeah. You got a dick. One shit. of them, one of them, uh, where you can turn the chairs. Whichever one you can turn the chairs and like Ooh, a table in the middle. Yeah. I think Genesis do that. I don't know for sure. That is so hard. I thought so one hard. of them did it. Super hard though. I ain't never heard of that. I'm glad though. Ooh, I think my eyelash just fell in my eye. That shit hurt. Yeah, but I was just looking at cars too. Like, I want um, I want to trade my Volkswagen in because I got like a twenty twenty, I think. Mm-hmm. But I got this Volkswagen. I just got it repaired from you know my car accidents and shit. So I'm. It's really hard to buy a car right now too. Mm-hmm. So it's like I can really trade this in and get Why a full value. I don't know because they're not making new cars. They're not mm-hmm. making new cars right now. So, no, oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, so cars <laughs> going up. Uh, car. So what yeah, you they're going. Hard? I guess they're going up, but I guess they're also selling cheaper. Oh. You know what I mean? Like it's really. Hard. Oh, sorry. This is like really distracting me. Do you have a napkin? Yeah. <laughs> or yeah, thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah. But I really want to trade it in and trade it in for like um. I'm thinking like an old school Mercedes. That would be hard, like hella hard. But That'd I want be like super hard. rims. I want it lower to the ground. Like I want. <laughs> I'm talking about like I want some. Want some low shit. I ain't gonna lie. I don't thought about. Yeah, get get like a regular car and just pimping it out. Bruh, like that's this? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, that's what But I'm like all black? Sheesh. That shit yeah. would be so hard. Yeah, that bitch be clean. Right, like. That be super clean. Like this? Hell yeah. Oh, God. You I like love Tupac this Tupac driving in that bitch. <laughs> like tinted windows and shit like that. Oh, you roll it down, you just see me in there. Just, no, I don't know about music oh, <laughs> Could you drive a convertible? I always thought about riding them, getting a convertible, but I don't know. I don't like. To me, it just depends. Like some of them, some cars can look hella trashy. Like mm-hmm. a soft top on a car. Don't fuck with it. No, I don't want that. You know? What's Do you like soft, soft top? top? The um, you know the roof that go back. Oh, those. Yeah, yeah, them, soft, yeah, yeah, them yeah. ass. Yeah. I hate yeah, them those. Ass. It's just black. It just look weird. Unless it's a black whip where you can't really see it for real. Yeah. You know, but if it's colored, that shit look tacky. It lo- sure. It's horrible, bro. Like, it's really, really bad. But, like, um, even two doors. I don't even like two door cars. I like, like, I like my shit. Like, you know what I mean? Decent. Full size. Some big shit. <laughs> Full size. Yeah. Literally. I'm gonna, I be whipping my little shit. I ain't gonna cap. I nigga love driving. Yo, you, me too. I feel you. What you, what car you have? Uh, Toyota Corolla, 06. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like I don't. Need, I feel like I thought you were gonna be like it's a two seater and stuff like that. Is it? No, it's a four four door. Okay, when you said when you said you be whipping your little shit, I was like, oh no, it's it's, like, it's a it's, it's a four door, but yeah. that bitch. My I be I be fitting through like shit. I be fitting through <laughs> shit. Oh, God, oh, that sucks. But yeah. it's crazy though. Like my whip, one of them whips were like. Mm-hmm. If I got five motherfuckers in there, like I know I got five <laughs> motherfuckers in my whip, like my shit be my shit'll go down for real. Really? Yeah. That's crazy as fuck. 
And not like on no major shit, but like you'll most definitely feel like a difference to when the car run with just one person or with just five people. Okay. Oh God, uh, I think I do want a new whip, but I think I, I want to stack up and get a new whip instead of just trading that win because I still do want that whip. I plan on making a whip to like some Need for Speed shit. Oh, okay, lit. So you just want to deck it out too? Yeah, I'm God. That's fine. I'm God. Hmm. I love like decked out cars like that. Like they're so, they're just so fun. Oh God, though, just the regular cars. Mm-hmm. I think that's come from like nigga with young niggas to play Need for Speed and all that shit and deck out the cars and shit. Yeah. I still got a high score at uh, Chuck E. Cheese and Fayetteville. I'm done as well. Oh God, I was I like top five. Chuck E. Cheese forever. Yeah, them niggas close. I was just watching like some on YouTube like top ten. <laughs> um, companies that's going bankrupt this year or some shit. Yeah, and they was in that Chuck top Cheese, ten. Damn, you yeah. remember Sears? Yeah, Sears. I remember yeah, when they yeah, went bad. Yeah. I'm dead. Uh, like. I used to stay by Shannon Mall. You know Shannon Mall? Mm-mm. It was off uh, over by Union City. Mm-mm. Shannon Mall and they closed. They had I'm the Sears. Like. I'm surprised Burlington's still going strong. I remember being a little shopping at Burlington. That's crazy as fuck though. Burlington had everything. You ever, you ain't ever shopped there? Yeah, I shot it a couple times, mm. but not 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 a lot though, not a lot though. Yeah, God. What you got a uh, plan for twenty twenty two? As far as things you want to get done. Twenty twenty two. So I don't know. It really depends on how my how court go tomorrow. Mm. It really depends. Cause twenty three, twenty two, plan on court tomorrow. Uh, yes. Oh God. <laughs> because it's like I had, I had so many plans, but then I'm actually on probation right now. Mm, for what? Speeding. For I'm on probation yeah. for speeding. You're, That's like the lamest shit ever. You you're think a speeder. I, I say some cool shit like yeah. I put, I held somebody up. You know what I'm saying? Like I did some crazy. Shit. Nah, nah, I don't want to see that. Probation. <laughs> I was thinking, probation of what? But I ain't thinking about yo, yo. You actually on probation or your license on probation? No, I'm on probation. You on probation? Yeah, for a year, and then they, yeah. bro, this is the crazy. Well, you can't shit. drive for a year. No, I don't smoke though. <laughs> but no, it's not. It's not like that. Bro. <laughs> it's like that's what I'm saying though. It depends on how my court go tomorrow. Cause yeah. basically the probation is I gotta show up, and I gotta pay yada yada. But then um, they said I can't get a ticket for a year. Like four months later, I got another speeding ticket. So for yeah, real? yeah. Cause I was I I was in a sports car. I was by the airport cause I was helping my friend with like a rental rental luxury rental car service. Mm-hmm. So I was dropping the car off at the airport, and I was speeding. And GSP got me. Georgia State. Yes, I was the so. Niggas don't play. Yes, bro. And the tickets are like double already. For real? Yeah, from Georgia State. And the first cop who got me, Cobb County. Well, it was either Cobb County or Sand Springs. Those are like the worst ones. The worst ones. I ain't gonna lie, I learned my speeding lesson. I caught like three speeding tickets like within like a year and a half. My mom paid like about fifteen hundred in ticket. Damn. Uh, I was super speeding. I used to go crazy. I used to travel from Swainsboro to uh Kennesaw all the time. Oh damn, so it was just you going crazy. I was going crazy. Hell I'm already knowing. That nigga was speeding, speeding. I'm not calling out now though. I'll be driving. It really depends on what type of music you're listening to, though. Yes, no cap. I like if I'm listening to like some lit shit, like some. Yeah, yeah, you go. <sighs> yeah, like I feel like I don't know why, but my foot yeah, just get you heavier. Just, yeah, if you just on some, you just you just want to eat. Like I'm pumping right yeah. now. Yeah, it lit. don't feel the same when you drive with some rap like music. Classical just, music. Just, just claim. Yeah. I mean, not not what the fuck. Right, calm, <laughs> calm, man. Like I said claim. Like some what? some lofi, some yeah. lofi. <laughs> you put that on, yeah. It's a lofi or lofi. Lofi. Lo-fi? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Yeah, lo-fi. But that's crazy. That's so true, though. Like, literally, that's what happened to me. So then, but the thing is, like, I had never been to court before. So it was, like, my first ever mm. ticket. And I didn't know that shit. I didn't know the no-lo thing. I didn't know. What's that? It's like, it's either you guilty, no-lo, or not guilty. Oh, yeah, yeah the yeah. no-lo shit. Yeah, okay. My dumb ass, my dumb ass. He said, do you plead guilty, no-lo, or not, or not guilty? I said, guilty. And this, everybody in the court behind me, they was like, oh, shit. Like, she's fucked. Like, and it was like, um, yeah. I was literally only, I was going yeah. 55 in a 35. Nobody told you to say no low? Nobody told me, bro. I said guilty. My dumb ass. So, that's why they gave me the year probation for my first ever fucking ticket. They gave me the year. Yeah, you they supposed gave to go no low. Get he, your first one. I had to pay $500. You couldn't be like, no, 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 no low. No, no, sorry. <laughs> like, right? Yeah, no, I couldn't even do that. No. And then they told me, um, I got to do 24 hours community service. Hmm. And. Did it already? No. No, 
so I just that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like my whole 2022 yeah. and half of my 2023 depends on how my court date go tomorrow. Yeah. So that's why I was so glad that you know I got to do conspiracy Wednesday right before yeah, oh I go God. tomorrow. Oh God. It's at 8 a.m. <laughs> tomorrow too. Oh God. Hell no. Man, I hope this shit goes straight. I I'm thinking yeah. it is gonna go straight though. I hope yeah. Cause yeah. I mean I did a little bit of community service in like yeah. four hours. Four hours. Yeah. yeah. But, at least you didn't do nothing, you know. At least you I, did something. Yeah, but you know, I could always, I could always pull out that card. Well, COVID got to my family, and yeah. it's just like, just um, I, I got laid off from my job. Just a lot of hard times. Cool. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for real, though. Like, yeah, I'm Like, sir, no low. This time, yeah, like, really I didn't know. No you could tell him straight up. I did not know. It was my first speeding ticket for real. Though. Yes, I did That's not crazy. mean to. And then I'm a, my father, like he older too. Like mm. my um, he's in his sixties, mm. so. My father, I'm a, he gonna come with me. He gonna be in there too. You know what I'm saying? I'm like the old man with the girl. So yeah. it's just, it's gonna be better. It's gonna work out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, I feel pretty confident. Like, it's either they take my license or they don't take my license. Yeah. It is. Or maybe pay it. I'd rather pay it. Yeah. Oh, God. Another 500 though? Fuck no. Yeah, man. I hate paying shit. Man, that shit hurt. Every time I pay rent, that shit be like. Damn. Yes. Rent, credit card. You gotta pay everything. Your subscription to your uh, gym. Fuck no. Oh, what is that? Okay, from over there. <laughs> oh, you want to give me your IGs again um, before we get out of here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's I am Angie Dow, mm -hmm. like A N G I E D A O. And then my Free of Problems brand is Free of Problems, but just P R B L M S. I bet it. Yeah. I know my IG talking conversation, Twitter T T C podcast without the T, uh, TikTok underscore talking conversation clips, podcast 083. <laughs> That was lit. I love it. Talking Conversation Podcast.